Don't shoot him! Hands! Don't shoot him! Give up! Get I give up. up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, God damn it! I said hands! All right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. Just defending yourself. You, no, you outside, shot him. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> Just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. The eight billion zombies in here. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on, I want to get the hell out of here. What happens when the door shuts behind us? It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. Your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. have stopped them? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Fucking zombie fungus. Called it. Yeah. 
I mean, I could say that about 90% of the story. I, I said that from the beginning. It was going to be some zombie fungus shit. But Saint said, hopefully it's not zombie fungus again. And I said, it's going to be because his girlfriend worked on plants. And she worked at some top secret facility. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um... It's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Why not just move Lost Lake Camp to here? Just flying into the wall for whatever fucking reason. <laughs> Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dave? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Relantis. Appreciate you being here. Try to rest your night, Mindy. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did too. Dick? Yeah. Okay. Listen. There's this farm. Okay. Uh, there's a uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences. Okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here. You're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, ah, he's the strong arm of the law you now. I you say. Listen, I gotta go. I bet you Boozer makes that joke every fucking day. Wait, you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. Tell him suck a dick. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Tell the Colonel to suck a dick. Nice golf cart. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. 
What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. Or, you know, go flip that power switch back on, close the gate, get comfy. The rewind time a little bit, don't fucking tell anyone where we're at, you know? Maybe bring Boozer out here with Doggo. Get fat from eating too many plants. Like, I don't really get what the plan is. Are we gonna load this shit up in missile silos and just fucking nuke the entire planet with this stuff? It's clear. Well, you gotta have one security guard that can clear out the entire place, for the most part. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. You grabbing that with your hand here, my you call me here. So wait, what about the ring? You know, that she said was melted, that that one guy's clearly fucking wearing. That she clearly would have seen nine billion times. Also, bird arm. Wait, what the fuck is that to the right? Just clipped in through the wall. Yes, I was distracted. It's like a bush that clipped through the wall. I saw it. If you have marriage problems in the zombie apocalypse, just just have sex. It'll fix it. <laughs> Thank you for the inspirational music after the, those two smashed. Thank you for that. Fucking bird eyes over here. Ah, damn. Also, he seemed really pissed about that. Also, that's fraternization. Hey there. As okay. well. Anyway. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. 
The infirmary. What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, an incident. Hell, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Ah. Sarah? There's the incident. Oh, God damn it. The, also, the way that it spread, it, it was a guy who was going to whistle blow. He got fucking infected. Yeah. When he was going to whistle blow on all this shit and... Uh, Fucking spread it to everyone else. That's how it happened. Okay. Go, go. That is a hell of an incident. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Ah, who's Taylor? Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. How could you not know? Wait, you knew? How the fuck did you not know? I don't understand. The fucked up part is, is he was probably clean now, but the second he got put on oxy, that this shit immediately came back. As the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve. Also, how would the doc victory. not be able to Captain tell that he was a was massive murdered. junkie as well? Slaughtered. His life. The doc pointed out him. that we were a biker. His blood like, even now soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our people. sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with We're books smashing. and seeds uh, and Doc's dead. Medical journals, medical books, and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, so cannot be replaced. The colonel's not a colonel. He was an actor. I a wannabe you actor. Same. Company dismissed. The colonel wasn't a colonel. It was a wannabe actor. He was a failed actor. I'm calling it now. Some failed theater student. He just acts out stuff too much.